Okay, so I'm gonna hide this room in Dawn's face. There is a part of this room that is super awesome, and I, I'm i surprised that it got to stay this way, and I think you will be as well. So today we wanna to show you what we ended up doing with the planking, and also the final product here of our guest room slash foster care room. And yes, we do both have a mild cold, if you're curious. Yeah, I thought it was allergies and I kind of gave it to Tom. I was like, dude, allergies aren't contagious. <laughs> it didn't knock me out like it did him though, so that's why I thought it was allergies because it wasn't really that bad. So we've been showing you the progress here with our extra bedroom, our guest bedroom, also will be used as our foster care room. So what we need to do to get this room wound up, Tom needs to finish the planking on the wall. We're gonna put a finish on it, get all the new baseboard in, uh, there's some plaster under the windows that needs to be patched, put up a curtain rod, and then do the fun stuff like decorate. And so we had made pretty good progress. We got the planking up on the wall. Again, we wanted to cover up some imperfections <laughs> in that wall. And uh, every time uh, we put up any kind of wood, <laughs> In our Donna house. immediately <laughs> wants to paint it. I want to paint it. Tom doesn't. If this was all for something rare, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> it's only fine. That's funny. Half of you are like, yeah, go ahead, paint it. I bet if we did a poll, it'd be over half. But to leave it wood or to paint? Leave it wood. Really? Okay. I believe so. We're going to give a survey at the end if I don't quite buy that. Anyways. We had got the planking up on the wall. Again, my initial intention was that we would paint it white. That's what we did on the other plank walls that we did in the other area of our house. But when we had done those walls, there were some of you that had said like, well, if you have to do something to it, maybe you could just whitewash it. So some of the wood grain still came through. So Tom's preference would have still been to like stain it or just seal it and leave it natural. Yeah, just leave it clear. Probably put a clear over it which I didn't think would really go with the oak doors that we've been putting in. Wood goes with wood. What it's is all in... from the earth. So I did think back to that idea of whitewashing it and I did think that maybe this would be the room to try it out. In the other areas of the house, I didn't necessarily want to do it because I didn't want it to be too busy and I knew there was a lot of other stuff going back into those spaces. But in this room, I thought it could be like the focal wall. Right. So. I didn't know how to whitewash, <laughs> so. So you just diluted the paint. Basically. You just mix some water in yeah, with paint. Pretty simple. Yeah, um, I did fill the container a little too full. I noticed. I think. Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't. I would have a bigger container probably <laughs> if you were gonna try this at home. Um, it's very. It's a very drippy process because well, yeah you're, you're like putting water on the wall it felt like putting water on not like yeah. water down paint it really felt like, like i was water, putting water yeah. on so you had to just use a little bit at a time the good part it went really quickly yeah you only had to do like one coat smelly. well i did end up doing two coats oh. because one coat really looked like there was nothing on it Perfect. which again tom would have liked <laughs> <laughs> and so i was like eh, the areas that were a little darker i liked just a little bit more the wood really sucked in the water and yeah. paint. So, um, so I did end up doing two coats, which also was way better because when we primed and painted in the other area, it took four coats of painting it, which took longer. Um, and I also felt with those walls, I actually ended up filling in a lot of the knots in the wood because yeah. it just looked, it looked like there were just like random holes in it. It didn't look good. So this, which I didn't I have to do I love the knots. So. Yeah. And I didn't feel like with this that I had to go back and fill in the nail holes either, which I did out there. Yep. So this actually, I, I timed it. It took like a half hour to do one coat. So that wasn't bad at all. So it went really quick and I really like how it turned out. Good, me too. I and like Tom. it a lot. Yeah. I like it a lot because you still get all the grain. You still see it, most of the grain and you get all the knots, mm -hmm. which is kind of the best part of like wood stuff is yeah. seeing the imperfections of it. All right, putting in the last piece. Well, we gotta see if it fits. Ish. Well, yeah, because our house is on the older side, it's not always the most square. Although some would say new houses no, yeah, aren't new, either. New houses are <laughs> I think if I get a hammer, I can make it fit. 
Yep, that's the man. <laughs> so then the other thing we needed to do in here was to put down the new baseboard. So we had showed you the old baseboard. Well, you said, how old was it? I forget now. Uh, this house was built in 1940. So 80 years old, which was <laughs> wild. Yep. Um, so we put down, down the new <laughs> baseboard and we had replaced the carpet in this room a year yep. ago. So for this room too, we're gonna use the like pre Fab, what is it like a? I don't remember. I think it's like a Craftsman. It's just a door topper that we yeah. bought, but it yeah. makes it really easy because you just do the side pieces. I mean, Tom had to cut it down and put jam pieces, so nothing was easy about this doorway. <laughs> but the top looks really pretty when it's on. So, so it trims on and. The wall is whitewashed. It's still drying a little bit, so there's some variation. But yeah, I'll touch up the walls a little bit and then we'll do the fun stuff. What part's the fun stuff? The decorating. Oh, I, was so <laughs> I, I will do the fun stuff, not we'll do the fun stuff. I, the kids and I, I will do the, the fun, fun stuff. The fun part was me packing up my tools and pulling them out of here. That is the fun part, too. That's the fun yep. part. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just amazing, though, when you put down the new carpet, we had put new windows and window trim in last year as well how it's just like it feels so nice it, and it feel just really nice, yeah. feels like a brand new room i was just about to make the bed i got i wish you could feel this it is like super soft um isn't that nice it's, it's fairly kind of, soft it looks like something you've washed like a hundred times so it's just like you know worn. that worn like that favorite sweatshirt so we want to keep the bedding kind of fairly neutral so i just have some gray sheets and then this, but yes, we're, we do. We do. Tom was really, he just really wanted to make sure it was neutral, yeah. mm -hmm. would hide dirt well, wash up well. So you know me. We got it covered. Well, something you do care a lot about is our mattress that we sleep on, and I so do. we are so grateful. We have a Helix mattress in here, and they sponsored this video as well. What was interesting, we when we went to Florida and the. Um, excursion broke down. Uh, we had to stay at a hotel. Do you have to? How about we just reference it we as when we went to Florida with our camper. Along the way, we ended up staying at a hotel or two. Because we wanted to. For fun. And mix it up a little bit. <laughs> um, we stayed at a Hampton Inn, which is, I would say in the past, we were like, those mattresses, best night's sleep ever. Yeah, you and I had terrible sleep. I woke up that. and I was like, I would give anything for my mattress from home yep. right now. So I was just really surprised by that. I was like, wow, still our like preference is still our Helix mattress that we've had. And we've had it for seven months now, I think. And we just really like it a lot. And so Helix is a premium bed in a box uh, mattress company. So it gets delivered right to your door. Shipping is included with the cost of the mattress. Did you tell them that how if you sleep with someone, you can go online and you can fill out the sleep survey for them on what they like to sleep on and how, how the bed should be? feel for them? Yes. You? So you go online, you oh, take I'm their sorry. sleep quiz. If you share your bed with someone else, they fill in their information, you fill in yours, and it makes a recommendation. So for us, it recommended <laughs> the Dusk Lux. But you like our mattress. I did fill it out for Tom, okay? But I do like our mattress. Okay. I didn't I didn't even know I had an option to fill out <laughs> part of it until the mattress showed up. You probably just told me, just fill in what you think. You know me. <laughs> and I didn't Anyways. give it two thoughts. Yep. <laughs> that sounds about right. Anyways, we actually really like our mattress. But what's cool is because you can't go to a store and test it out, obviously, uh, they have a 100 night sleep guarantee. So if you don't love it as much as we do, you just let them know 100% uh, they'll refund your money and they take care of taking it back and all of that kind of stuff too. So I really appreciate that. They guarantee it, they stand behind it. Mm -hmm. And so we have a discount code down below. You can save up to $200 and get two free pillows. So be sure to click on that um, below. It's in the description box, but it's also pinned in the first comment because I know if you're on mobile, you can't always see it. So trying to cover our faces with that as well. But thank you again, Helix. Mm -hmm. We're really excited to get this room pulled together. Did you have any other clever things you wanted to say about our uh, mattress? My, my brain's just going to my I own. think Tom stepped up. I told him, like, I think maybe you should actually go lay on our mattress right now and take a little nap, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll finish up in here. I don't need you Dawn for the rest of this stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to decide what we should do for our work in here. So I thought we should ask the kids. 
And Corbin has his shop clothes on. <laughs> so you're going to go down in a little bit to the shop, right? Okay. So I have those two picture frames, um, which I'd gotten for your guys' room and we didn't really use in there. So I thought we could put those on the wall. Or I saw these. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. <laughs> And I thought they were kind of cute. I don't know what you should do this. Here, Adeline, we go closer to the wall. We'll decide if we should do like one or two or. Do you guys like those? I don't want it to be too like little kid or too like baby. Like sometimes we'll have other guests stay in here too. So should we do? Should we do those right there on top of each other? Yeah. All right, if you guys say so. Yeah, it doesn't match the curtains well. Should they swap, swap, swap them around, Gage, with the giraffe on the bottom and the... Does it kind of look like the giraffe is throwing up color? No. Is it coming out of... I can't tell where it's coming out of. It's off his spots. Oh, there are the spots coming off of him. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we had a friend give us a gift card to Target to get anything that we needed for our foster care room. So... Thank you to them. So the kids helped me pick out this too, this parrot. I said, I don't want anything that's going to like scare children, but they thought it was cute. And then these are, they're kind of like shadow boxes that they can put their own artwork in. So I like the idea that they could kind of decorate the room themselves too. So we got all of the bedding put on. I, I know I already said it, but I really like this bedspread a lot. Mm -hmm. Like Tom felt it's like once I was actually putting it on, he's like, oh, this is nice. It's pretty soft. Like you kind of just want to wrap up in it. And so again, we just tried to keep the colors fairly neutral and not too juvenile either was kind of my goal with all of it that if we ever wanted to transition it like to anything, I don't know what else there would be, but anything. Anyway, <laughs> keep things as neutral. What are we talking about? And, um, and then we put the pillows on and Tom's like, how many pillows are you going to put on there? I was like, I think I could find you some more <laughs> pillows around the house. And I'm kind of just setting it up as like a day bed for now because the kids will come in here and just like read or hang out and different stuff so right now it's kind of just a all-purpose room so my whole goal with this room was it's a small room right we've showed it to you it's like 10 yeah. by 11 is that what something it is? like that yeah um and so I just wanted it to feel happy I know we the kids that'll come and stay here we can't fix what's gone on in their world but we can give them a happy place to stay for a little while mm -hmm. but I was aware as I was kind of like picking out the things like I wanted it to feel like cozy happy not like waiting room at a children's dentist happy like you know what it's kind of just like kind of cheesy and like I don't know like you are don't you know. saying that <laughs> dentist offices are cheesy you know or like well, it's I not don't very know nice. I think that's very critical of dentist offices. Or if, if like an older child would stay here, I didn't want it to be like, oh, I'm in a baby's room. And then I didn't want to put, I thought about like we put a rocking chair or some kind of chair or something, but we do have a portable crib that we would set up in the corner where the beanbag chair is. So if we needed a crib, then that's yeah. where it would go. So we kind of wanted to keep that corner open. And it's just not that big of a room. And it's still not that big of a room, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. And don't worry, the um, shadow boxes, they're plexiglass in the front. So we're not putting glass above <laughs> the bed. Also, we had shown when we put the trundle um, bed together last time. And so I'll link to that down below. It's from Amazon. I'll link to everything down below if you wanna um, find anything that we've put in here. And then we are gonna get a mattress for here. Um, some had said that some areas or counties don't allow trundle beds, but it's okay for our county. So um, we'll have that as an option as well and then also we had shown we left all of our like hanging stuff in here um in our wardrobe but in this side it has shelves i'm just gonna clean that out it has like some random camera stuff in there and so we'll be able to put like clothes and any of their own possessions in here it's actually really deep shelves so we should be able to fit plenty in there if we needed to clean out the other side so that we had that free too we could it's not a big deal we're, we're actually pretty flexible people <laughs> so i think whatever comes up i think as far as like the stuff i think we'll be able to handle it so as far as when we could potentially get a foster care placement um we have everything into them and we're just kind of waiting now yeah. so and we did find out just today that we are officially licensed so um, it's exciting. It's heartbreaking too. I mean, Angela Franiff from This Gather Nest, she talks about all the time that 
they've adopted and that adoption is born out of loss, right? And foster care is obviously no different. Um, so I know that Tom and I and the kids, I really trust that we'll be fine. <laughs> We're well supported. Uh, we have great people around us, but my heart just breaks for the kids because kids are meant to be with their moms and their parents, right? And so um, obviously our hope is just that we can provide a safe and loving place when they need us. And the ultimate goal was always to get them back to their parents or back to their family members. So obviously it won't be easy, but I think we're as prepared as we can be by this point in the journey. I mean, no one gets licensed just on a whim, all right? There's so much process that goes into it in classes and um, inspections and questionnaires and interviews and all of that kind of stuff. So um, by the time you get to this point, you've put a lot of thought and research and time and energy into it. So of course we can't know everything that lays ahead, but we'll just do our best to take it one step at a time and, and figure it out as we go. So thank you so much for your supporting encouragement. And even those who have raised concerns, we know it's done from love and care for our family but um, right now we're all in <laughs> so that's gonna be the status for the foreseeable future and if something changes it changes but we'll keep you posted we have no idea um, when we could potentially get a placement so we'll just let you know as we go but coming up next week we have uh, just a couple more things to finish up in the camper so that we can sell it yeah. so uh, we'll show you kind of like the final recap of that whole project I I, I still want to jazz up the bathroom a little bit. Tom doesn't, so we'll see. Nope. I send it down the road. We'll see if that happens or not. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't feel well right now, so I shouldn't even joke about extra <laughs> projects. So we'd love to know what, oh, okay. So now here's my poll. For a wall like this, in a room like this, would you have painted it or left it natural wood? Or left it different levels of sheetrock like it originally was. <laughs> yeah, or left it alone. So those are your options. You could say stained wood. I mean, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> so I'm curious because Tom thinks it's over 50% that would leave it like some kind of wood. Yeah. And I... I do. I don't know. Remember, white reflects yeah, light and makes faces Dawn, feel bigger. You're delusive. See, now you're trying to sell them. I'm not, I I, I'm not trying to sell them at all because I know, I know my people. <laughs> all right. So if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment so we can settle this debate. We don't actually have, I don't think we have really any other places in our house where we're going to like put up wood. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think we're doing it. I'm sure. Else. I actually, I'm positive we'll run into this again at some point. So <laughs> I would be curious. <laughs> but we'd love to know what you're up to this weekend. We hope your projects go smoothly and we'll definitely look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.